My name's Sarah Hardy, and I like to give you the creeps. Shocking surprises. Fully edible, but definitely not to everyone's taste. Sarah Hardy has an unusual way of making money. On the menu today, a human brain made of white chocolate. I'm a massive horror fan. I can't remember when I didn't watch horror movies. <laughs> I've always made creepy things and bits of bodies. When I was a sculptor, I went to art school. And when I started making food, it's just natural to make the same things I've always made. <laughs> just make them in chocolate. Moulded chocolate and colours taken from fruit is all that's needed to produce a sweet, juicy brain. Hardy used to model wax figures. She says chocolate is much easier to work with. If a bit goes wrong, she can just melt it back into place. And then, of course, it tastes good. The taste is of ultimate importance. You don't do this much work to make a chocolate and, um, and not care about what it tastes like. But I keep that simple. I choose three really good chocolates, a milk dock and white one, and I work with those over and over again. But chocolate isn't the only thing on the menu. Sarah Hardy also bakes cakes where you really wonder if they're edible. Like this raw turkey cake. Or a zombie cake perfect for Halloween. The idea is that um, I want to make something as horrible as what you might see on The Walking Dead, but then we get to eat it. The cake is made up of several sections, all baked and moulded individually. Like this stomach made of cake base. She encases it in marzipan and then moulds it into shape. When she paints it with food colourings, it looks increasingly realistic. Sarah Hardy has learned everything by doing. I never baked a cake until I was nearly 40, so I had to just get a recipe book and look online. Um, but being a sculptor really helps because I can already see things in three dimensions and I know roughly how to make in lots of different materials before I ever made in cake and chocolate. She doesn't only get her inspiration from horror films. A walk in the forest can also provide food for thought. Animal bones are a plenty here. She then processes her findings artistically. Perhaps they will soon be available in chocolate form. I really love the bone I just found. It's, it's a really nice shape, that curve, it's very sculptural and it will look perfect in chocolate. The zombie's chocolate cake liver is ready to go. Sarah Hardy's daughter then gets a makeover. She will form the upper part of the ghoulish creation marzipan intestines and a ribcage in white chocolate rounded off. Good enough to eat, if you dare. When a customer commissions a cake like this, they definitely eat it. It's always for like a party or a birthday or something. Um, and their reactions are usually getting everyone to take photographs, selfies with it and everything for a good few hours. And they wait until the very last minute before they can eat it. OK, now it's time to perform the autopsy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop the wild. 